Get knocked down, get back up. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most badass Octavia Blake moments from the 100. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most badass moments from the most badass character from the post-apocalyptic sci-fi drama. Number 10. Fighting Lincoln Off Before she became the fiercest of all warriors, and before they fell in love, Octavia was captured by Lincoln and held as his hostage after being injured in the forest. Though she makes an escape attempt, the grounder ends up saving her life during her run for it. Thank you. You saved my life. This time, though, when he brings her back to the dark cave, he chains her up. Octavia grew up as the girl under the floor, so while everyone else is experiencing Earth for the first time, Octavia is experiencing literally everything for the first time. Wanna go for a walk? And yet, with no skills or life experience yet, Octavia finds a way to free herself from these chains and fight Lincoln off until her search party gets there. This is one of the first moments foreshadowing the epic badass she would grow to be. Number 9. Confronting her past Over the seasons, Octavia has had a long, winding journey full of pain, death, and impossible choices. Wrong, Tyke. You killed Lincoln, and you died for it. End of story. One of the major themes of season 6 of The 100 was everyone confronting their past choices and learning to be better. Octavia can't seem to let go of who she became as the Red Queen to ensure survival. But after taking a hallucination-inducing mixture to try and remember what happened to her in the anomaly, she has a series of visions forcing her to deal with her past. Octavia confronts her regrets and literally comes face to face with herself. It took a lot of strength to do what she needed to do to save her people, but it took even more to finally forgive herself for it. No blood brain in that way. <laughs> Number 8. Breaking out of Arcadia When things are getting out of hand in Arcadia under Pike's tyrannical rule, Octavia returns to help the Resistance escape. Pike has interned the Grounders and sentenced three of them to death for insubordination. Kane, Lincoln, Sinclair, as the leaders of this coup, you will pay for your crimes with your lives. But Octavia is not having it. She hides Kane and the others under the floor, and even hits Kane with a sick burn about her 16 year old stint in the same position back on the Ark. It's a little bit tight in there. I've been doing it for 16 years. Some might question Octavia's actions sometimes, but she's always done what she believes is right for her people. She even turns against her own brother to defend what she knows is right, and to help those who are sentenced to death escape. Sleep on big brother. Number 7. Taking out Mount Weather Security Growing up the way she did, no one can blame Octavia for not feeling too at home with the rest of the Arcadians when all the adults come to the ground and try to reestablish their government. You'll need this. After all, that's the same government that forced her into a life under the floor, which is why she fought so hard to become Indra's second. What does that mean? What you think it means? I think I want to hear you say it. You're one of us now. But more on that later. Despite her long journey to find herself among the grounders, when they all leave Mount Weather, leaving Sky Crew behind, Octavia defies Indra and stays. I'm not going anywhere without my brother. With no backup, she breaks into Mount Weather and single-handedly takes out the heavily armed guards, allowing safe passage for the others. Number 6. Octavia Accepts Echo as Family There's always been bad blood between Octavia and Echo. Also like one crew. And Dison like also house. Everyone except you. And understandably so. Echo has a history of betraying the Blakes, and Octavia is not nearly as forgiving as Bellamy. I said your people would live. I didn't say anything about you. But when Bellamy is presumed dead and Echo is completely losing herself, Octavia finally lets go of all that bad blood and embraces Echo. Echo tries to fight her off, but Octavia won't let her. She takes her in her arms and she tells her that they're family. You're my family too. As badass as Octavia is when she's kicking ass, this moment where she empathizes with Echo is equally badass. Number 5. Standing her ground in a losing fight with a grounder 
As we previously mentioned, Octavia didn't exactly feel like she had a place at Camp Jaha. So when the initial alliance with the Grounders was made, Octavia decided to align herself with them. Just kill them. Makes them stronger. She joins in on a Grounder training session and demands a fight. Jonas! I am. We're supposed to train together. Right? Indra tries to shrew her away, but Octavia won't take no for an answer. Before they go off to hunt, Indra sends a grounder to fight her. And no matter how many times she gets beat, Octavia just asks for more. We already knew Octavia was a fighter, but here she becomes a warrior. She refuses to stay down no matter what they throw at her, and she earns Indra's respect. Okay, I know, I got my ass kicked. That should make you happy. It does. Number four, Birth of the Red Queen. Though the clans united after the Conclave, a lot of bad blood still existed between all of them. So much for one crew. Asleya is right. There are no separate clans here. You do well not to forget that. When their feuding got out of hand and basically turned into a purge kind of situation, Octavia finally decides the type of leader she's going to be. She announces that there are no more separate clans. There are no grounders or sky crew. They are all one clan. Anybody not on board will face death. You are one crew, or you're the enemy of one crew. Choose. She takes on hordes of grounders by herself in order to unite them. She emerges as the Red Queen and implements her fighting pit tactic for keeping peace. We understand the irony here of using violence to achieve peace, but truthfully, all of the feuding clans just wanted to kill each other. So she obliged. Conclave rules. Win the fight. Save your life. Number three, Octavia versus Echo. Long before they were all one big happy family, Echo was Ice Nation's fiercest assassin. During the fight between Sky Crew and Asgata over the bunker, Echo is sent to bring Octavia into the king and things immediately turn deadly. Naturally, Octavia will not go without a fight. It doesn't have to be this way. It does. You made sure of that. The fight itself is epic, but even more so is the fact that Octavia somehow survives it. Echo even had a backup, which Octavia made short work of, but she gets stabbed straight through by Echo and goes tumbling over a cliff into the river below. Amazingly, she drags herself out and makes her way back to Arcadia with some help from Helios. She is the ultimate survivor. <gasps> Number two, you are one crew or you are the enemy of one crew, choose. Octavia arguably got out of control in the war over Eden, but while pinned down against the prisoners with Bellamy, Gaia, and Indra, she has a moment of clarity and chooses to sacrifice herself so the others can get away. I may never be able to fix what I broke, but I can save you. She takes responsibility for her actions and is ready to take the bullet for everyone. As such, she walks into the fire providing cover for their escape and shouts her one crew mantra into the void, prepared to die. <laughs> We all teared up as she threw her arms out, awaiting her warrior's death, and sighed in relief when Maddie rescued her instead. Equally as badass is when she bows to Maddie, legitimizing her as the true commander, and fights alongside her, uniting Wan Crew once again. Before we unveil our most badass number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hiding in a body bag. It worked. She's in. Saving Finn. <laughs> Confronting the grounders. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. Saving Ton DC. <laughs> Octavia saves a grounder child. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Conclave. This isn't just the most badass Octavia moment, but quite possibly the most badass moment in the whole show. 
In the fight over the bunker, Octavia goes into the arena for the final conclave to fight for Sky Crew's right to survive. We meet again. Damn right we will. She uses all of the training she's learned from Indra, her history as the girl under the floor, and inspiration from Indra and Bellamy to dominate in the arena. But it's not just all the fighting that makes this moment so unforgettable. It's Octavia's vulnerability and her compassion that make her a true badass. She teams up with Rowan to beat Luna and tricks Luna as well. But in victory, she decides that all clans will either die together or survive together. I was fighting for us all. Sky Crew will not take the bunker alone. We will share it equally. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.